Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a first look video on ADSR. So in this video, we'll be running through some of the features of Gatekeeper by Infected Mushroom and Polyverse. So Gatekeeper is a volume modulation plugin. Think side chain, pseudo sidechain compression, you know, MIDI gates, movement, LFOs, ADSR, that type of, or those types of effects or processes. So there's some really interesting features in Gatekeeper. It's obviously going to have some similarities to like X for Records, LFO tool, uh, Volume Shaper by Cable Guys. So, but it does some, some, some really interesting things. So we're going to check it out on some sound sources in this video and talk about its interesting features. So first thing we're going to do is let's listen to this section of this track real quick. Let me get the chord sound in there. All right, you get the idea. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to mess around with it on this bass line here. So I have Gatekeeper already loaded up on this track, and right now I have a saw LFO. So first thing you'll notice about Gatekeeper is there's tons of presets, just like all of Polyverse's uh, plugins. Right, there's these different categories, rhythmic, evolving, triplet, swing, which is really cool for hip hop. Uh, we got stereo, we got gating. Let's do let's put a gate on here. Right? There's just no way I could go through all these ducking for your pseudo sidechain. Right. If we apply this to this bass. So the, the really interesting thing, though, about Gatekeeper is that you have eight different shapes that you can use. And you can just turn them on and off by clicking on these different dots, turning it on. And they're all nicely color-coded. So you can create custom shapes. It's incredibly easy to do. So right now I'm just double-clicking and then moving shapes around, right? Um, there's a few different modes down here. There's envelope mode where things kind of react more like an envelope where you can grab and move whole sections. There's a loop here, where if you turn the loop on, you'll see where there's there's a pause section here, and this is kind of your start and end, right? So you can you can obviously adjust those points, you can change where, where you want those to occur, and what that'll do is it'll loop in between those uh, those those modes as as that's on. And so if if we have, if we have a loop section right here, it'll loop back and forth between these points, and then when you let up, it'll finish the remainder of your shape, which is quite cool. Now this right here is awesome. There's this is your paint tool or your brush tool. It's kind of like a Photoshop brush where you can load in kind of predetermined shapes. It actually reminds me a lot of Massive's Stepper and Performer where you can just load, I mean, uh, the, the uh, Performer, where you can load in these different custom shapes and just kind of brush. Now, the cool thing is when you brush, there'll always be snap to your grid. So right now I'm set to a one, I'm set to a 16th note grid. Now, let's say, let's go to a different preset. Let's discard here. Let's say you're editing Right? You're making some custom shapes, you're clicking, making some points. This point right here is in between two grid lines. That might be a cool effect, but you might want to quantize it. You can do that by simply hitting the uh, right, right click and you can hit quantize, or you can just hit Q. And then it snaps everything to the grid, which is a pretty cool, useful feature. Right? So now the, the thing that really, really gets me excited about Gatekeeper is this MIDI learn function. You can have different shapes and different envelopes, essentially, be learned. You can apply MIDI learn, so different keys will trigger different shapes. So for future bass, that'd be really cool. For a lot of genres, that'd be really cool. So we could turn on two different shapes here, create kind of a custom shape here, and we could apply this by simply hitting MIDI learn, playing in a note. We could apply this to a batch of notes or one note, and then this right here could be it's applied to different notes. Now, right now, currently, I have two envelopes active, right? There's a real easy way to see both at the same time or up to all eight. You have up to eight different envelopes or shapes to manipulate. So right now, with the show all or enable all, all eye on, you can see that this purple line here is telling you that there's another envelope active. So that's really cool. So if you're creating really complex shapes, you have that. 
All right, so let's apply it to some of these tracks here. So on this bass, Let's set that to a 16. That might be kind of a cool swing here. All right, so that's pretty cool. We can, we can leave that there. Um, I can also apply it to entire groups. actually kind of neat. Let's listen to that. So it's, a, it's a really fun, creative tool. So I'm going to uh, dink around with it a little bit on these chord patches. So the stereo, the stereo patches are pretty unique. They ap apply the, the amp and pan. So you have these uh, different, essentially like different modulators down here where you can apply, you know, different envelopes, different shapes to pan out. So see how this one's panned to the right, this one's center, and then we can pan this one, to, you know, this one to a different sides. So we can take this over here, for instance. Now, what I was messing around with last night was actually applying Gatekeeper onto a bus. That is really cool to me because then I can kind of get this like parallel processing of this movement. So right now on these chord tracks, all I have is a compressor, which is side chain to my kick. So we'll solo that. Right, so that's just the chord patch. Now if I turn up this, we'll turn down the chord patch so the, the bust the aux in with the gatekeepers a little bit louder. So that's a pretty cool effect, right? It's more subtle. But you still have that extra movement that you wouldn't get from just a sidechain compressed kick. So it's a really fun plugin. Um, it, it's unique. It's a little bit different than LFO Tool. I actually like the interface more than the LFO Tool personally. But again, that's more of could be a, a that's a personal preference thing for sure. But if you guys are looking for you know a fresh new way to add some movement into your tracks, intuitive, fun little plugin, this might be it. The uh, three unique features that stand out to me are. First, it's, it's library is, is bonkers. So that's the first one. Love the library. Tons of creative ideas there. Second, it's this brush tool. I like that. And then third, it's the MIDI learn. I like the MIDI learn function. I like being able to, the idea of being able to have certain notes, you know, have just an LFO or pseudo sidechain compression, then another note have like a pure on gate or kind of a stutter. That's a really cool, unique effect or process to me. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video.